Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this pack video short, we're going to cover target audience data, one of four of the analysis methodologies of the PAC processes for training and development, learning, and knowledge management. PACT is an acronym, performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. In the PACT process, the first type of analysis that we do is gathering target audience data. Now we want to understand the job titles, we want to understand if there's a segmentation between junior and senior kinds of roles, um, we want to understand the differences of their backgrounds. Basically we want to understand what can we safely generalize as true and what can we not. Now I do this on three types of target audiences that I just arbitrarily have called the primary, secondary, and tertiary. The primary target audiences are those that we agree with our clients that we're going after everything that they need with whatever the scope of the project or effort is. For curriculum architecture, it's the entire job. Uh, or it may be uh, multiple processes for a cross-functional team with multiple jobs in it. Or it may be a part of one job. It may be sales call planning versus the entire sales process. But the primary target audience is who we are focused on. There may also be secondary target audiences that might get some benefit out of what we're doing but it's not our intent to serve their total needs. So that's an agreement we come to with our project steering team and our client groups. The tertiary target audiences are very important. I learned this because I've been burned by this. Tertiary target audiences are those that I want to declare out loud in front of everybody, all of the clients, that these are groups that are not part of our target audience. And what I found over the years is that often clients assume that some groups will be included in the analysis and affected by the design and development of training content, but in fact that's not going to happen. So in order to avoid that unhappiness and disappointments later on, and anger about it perhaps, I like to declare who's in the box, the primary target audience, who's sitting on the edge of the box, the secondary target audience, and who is outside of the box, the tertiary target audience. If that's an issue for some of the people involved in the project steering team, then they need to have the debate about that and clarify that and agree to that amongst themselves and then give me and my analysis team our marching orders. I hope this video and this video series is helpful to you in your practice of performance-based training and development, learning and knowledge management. I've been practicing, publishing and presenting on these topics since the early 1980s. My more recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.